Oh my God, you're not gonna believe it. I just got home and you should see the state my house is in. It's crazy. I mean, I kind of knew that asking Carden to look after my house while I was away might not have been the best choice, but I honestly didn't think it would be like this. So I come through the door, it's okay, but it's a hallway, so not too likely there'd be much in the hallway. But there was a kind of weird smell in the air, sort of almost sandalwoody, but also very burnt. So anyway, I open the lounge room door and in I come and just where do I even start? So first of all, fairies. I mean, not just Carden and two or three other fairies. I kind of expected that, but fairies everywhere. I mean, there were like five or six camped out on the floor. There were about four sharing the lounge chair. I mean, a lounger is reasonably big, but it's not four full grown people worth. And to add to that, most of them were naked or semi naked. Could I see Carden anywhere? No, no, I could not. I haven't actually managed to find him or hear from him at all. So he leaves my house completely full of fairies with no sign of him anywhere. First of all, I can barely move because of the bodies strewn all around the floor and on the lounge chairs. But then, <sighs> worst thing, it would be bad enough if just my coffee table were burnt. That would be upsetting enough. But the bookshelf behind the lounge, half of the lounge that they were lying on, the wall, and the entire coffee table was burnt. Luckily I only store like eight or nine books in that little bookshelf, but still books were burnt. So that's the burnt smell. Naturally, as you would imagine, I completely freak out because I have three cats and the entire reason to have someone looking after my house is to have them looked after. Couldn't see them anywhere in amongst all of the fairies, but then again, why would they be? Because there was also a fire, evidently. So I went on a pretty big cat hunt around the house. I find one cowering under the bed and she looked genuinely completely terrified. Now granted, Shade is often kind of scared, but she looked terrified and it took me ages to coax her out from under the bed, which I didn't do the minute I found her because I had to go and figure out where the other two were. Pistachio was up on top of the wardrobe, which is a fairly common thing for Pistachio, but she looked terrified as well. And she started meowing the second she saw me and didn't stop, but also didn't come down for ages, which is not like her either. Peanut was a lot harder to find, and I was really, really worried that they had managed to either kill or drive off Peanut. But fortunately, I managed eventually to find her, not just hiding under a couch or behind a couch, but up inside a couch. Because there's this little area that she's managed to pull the stitches away from, and she gets up in the couch. The only reason I found her at all is because I eventually put some tuna out and she decided to come out. I don't know what they were feeding her, but I'm assuming not tuna, judging from the fact that it, all the cats actually came along for the tuna. And boy, were they glad to see me. By this point, I had managed to wake all of the fairies and ask them, rather more politely than they deserved, frankly, to leave my house immediately. They looked pretty blurry eyed and confused and not just a little bit singed, but they left mumbling about Carden and where was Carden and Carden had invited them and this was all thanks to Carden, which I was pretty much aware of. <sighs> I tell ya, the next time I need someone to look after my house, 
if I can't find someone other than Carden, then I think I'm going to leave the house without anyone looking after them. Better that these cats go a little bit hungry than what they had, whatever else they had to endure while Carden was looking after the place. I did manage to get some information out of one of the fairies. Apparently they had been here the entire time. Judging from the amount of bottles and crumbs and empty glasses and broken glassware and cutlery and general rubbish strewn around the lounge room, the dining room, the kitchen and even one of the bedrooms. I'm going to say this party went on for a while. You were supposed to look after my cats. That was the entire point, not set the place on fire. So whenever I find Carden, he will be very much informed of how not very happy I am. Thanks, buddy. Luckily for you, my cats are fine. Luckily for you, books are replaceable, even though I love them. Thanks, dude. Really.